Hey everyone, let's recap the action in Portugal. Day 2, we're going to start with Cass, and he was on fire all day long. Had a lot of really good combinations with Tachiwaza and Newaza. Just look at this little sequence here. Bit of Ashiwaza, gets him down to the ground, and then straight into a Juji. And look at him hooking, hooking the inside of the thigh with his ankle. Really, really nice work there. In the semi-final, came up against Oino from Japan. Uh, a new guy on the international scene. And Oino, he looked really good, but just wasn't good enough to get through Cass. Sco scores the Stemiwaza. And no idea what to call this hold down. He's on his side, just wrapping up with his legs. But anyway, we'll have a look at some of Oino's highlights just after we get through this. Wonderful Ipon from Cass in the final. And look at that, that is so well done. From the grip break, amazing Ipon Seo Inage. Look at the adjustments, really, really nice. So Oino looks like a really, really interesting prospect at 81. He likes to use a lot of movement to set things up. A lot of Ashiwaza. He likes to flick the grips around a lot. And look at the combinations. Ochi Kochi, look what he's doing with the grips here. Sets up the Osoto. So for someone to move like this at 81, uh, it is quite incredible. And you'll see in his fight against the Korean, goes five minutes into golden score and he's still moving like a madman. Here it is here. So just watch him move, takes a top grip, fakes the Uchimata, looks for the Osoto, doesn't get it. Up they go again and this is five minutes into golden score and look at the Korean, he, he is gassed. He is gas, but Oino, he just keeps going. And watch it, this is one of the, the greatest Kochigaris you'll ever see. Look, they're still moving the hands really well. Pressuring, forward. Now he's got his grips, and now he starts the movements. Ochi with the one hand, turns left, turns right. Beautiful Kochigari. Seals the deal, five minutes into golden score. 73 now, and we had Yoldoshev from Uzbekistan. Had a really good day. Getting a gold medal for his country. Lovely Sewe Otoshi there. Mixing it up from the Osoto. Beautiful work. And to be honest, I haven't seen uh, anything of Yoldoshev in previous contests, so he might be someone new to the Uzbekistan team. Lovely Kochi Makikomi there. He does it several times throughout the day. So interesting techniques from Yoldoshev. And this here, I thought this was illegal now. He gets a Wazadi for it, but I thought that was a Shido. I thought you weren't allowed to counter uh, in that way anymore. So the new rules, I'm still a little bit confused about the new rules. Here's that Kochi Makikomi again. Really awkward, but he knows what he's doing. It's his speciality, it seems. His Tokui Waza for sure. And in the final, gets a lovely Ipon. It's always good to get an Ipon in the final. Uchimata, hand around the back. Beautifully well done. Van Leishout from the Netherlands, taking gold in her category. Nice little bit of Newaza here. Kind of an opportune. Jumps straight over the top. Right into the Osaikomi. And here, this Kochigari. The ref scores it a Wazari, but they eventually go to the video decision. Give it an Epon. Why not? So winning with an Epon. And next at 53, somebody who I didn't think I would be seeing ever again. I thought she had retired. Rafaela from Brazil. And I'm really surprised. Olympic champion, of course, from Brazil. And she just came back and she, she won this. In incredible fashion. It's like she had never been away from the game. I mean, she competed a little bit in 2019. Once in 2021, took 2020 off. Look at this, Tani Otoshi. Beautiful, beautiful work. 29 years of age, coming back. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see how she competes with a lot of the other uh, top-level judoka in, in her category. Look at this, Tani Otoshi again. She's so good, and I love her passion. Some people complain in the comments that, you know, judoka shouldn't be passionate and celebrate when they win. Why not? Let people be who they want to be. Beautiful work here. Look at this to seal the deal. Look at that grip she's got under the armpit. Beautiful Kochi Makikomi. 
So Silver, it's good to see her back, and we'll see how she does in the future. Alright guys, uh, stay tuned, we've got Day 3 coming up soon.